For years, it has taken an invasive procedure to find out if you have cancer. Now, a local biotech company says all you need is this little kit right here and a postage stamp. New at 7 o'clock, 10 News anchor Robert Santos explains why the company believes this is a game changer in the fight against cancer. After two years of clinical tests, scientists at Trovagene in Sereno Valley have closed in on a cancer breakthrough and it fits right in this little box. Inside, a urine collection cup. Collect your urine, pour it into this cup, and then you put it in a pouch and send it through the mail to our lab and we analyze it. Trovagene's chief executive officer, Tony Shu, says this new way of testing for cancer is not only convenient, it's less expensive and non-invasive. Unlike surgical biopsies performed for decades, liquid biopsies have been gaining popularity in the last several years, mainly blood. Now yellow is the new red. Urine biopsies come with an unlimited supply and provides more information than even high-resolution images of cancer tumors. What imaging tells you is nothing but uh, whether your cancer is getting bigger or smaller. It doesn't tell you what is driving your cancer. Here's how urine samples provide more information. DNA is our genetic blueprint, but there's something called CT DNA, fragments from dead tumor cells released into the bloodstream and as Trovagene was first to discover, filters through the body's kidneys and into one's urine. You can now track the disease real time and you can track the cause of the disease real time. And that means you can treat the cause of that disease real time. Enabling doctors to customize a patient's treatment, which more effectively targets the disease quicker. And there are cases where you achieve effectively a cure. Leading to an even bigger breakthrough. Robert Santos, 10 News. How exciting. Trovagene's urine test is not limited to any one cancer. The product launched three weeks ago. It is now being used by leading cancer centers around the world, including UC San Diego. Uh,